Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about Trevor Noah. I've made two videos about him and in both of those videos I've been criticizing him but today I would like to applaud him for what he says about discussions about Rwanda housing refugees. Now let me first show you what he said. I know, I know some parts of Africa have it tough but we've also got cities, we've got Wi-Fi, you know? We've also got racist white people, you guys left them behind acting like we don't got shit. Some of these Europeans think the only hotel in Rwanda is the Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> Actually, they've got a Radisson. Yeah, a Radisson Blue, by the way. There's a waffle bar and everything. This is the problem. This is the problem when there's only one well-known movie that takes place in your country, you know? It's all the people go on. It's like judging France based on Ratatouille. Not all the restaurants are run by rats. <laughs> because here, Rwanda was trying to do something nice, and then now they have to hear everyone talk shit about them? Imagine if you offered to donate a kidney to someone and that person was like, uh, no, thank you. I'm going to see if there's a more developed kidney. I'm like, man, go pee blood then, bitch. That is completely true. The amount of disrespect Rwanda has been getting is unfathomable. And there's absolutely no reason for it. I mean, this country said that, you know what? We are willing to take refugees and we're willing to play our part to solve this global issue. I actually made a video about this topic, I think it was a couple of weeks ago. Look at the comments. People are like, this is unhumane. Unhumane in which way? Britain is not giving these people anything. They have to live off nothing. They don't get anything. But it's unhumane to take them to Rwanda. Some of those people are from Africa. To take them back to their closer neighbor that is closer to their own culture and country. How is that unhumane? How is it unhumane to take refugees to Rwanda? It is absolutely ridiculous. And the people who promote this nonsense, most of them are left wing. You know, they're people who act as if they care about Africa, act as if we are all equal. But then when it comes to Rwanda doing something that Europe has been doing for a long time, all of a sudden it's unhumane and it's again human rights. It's absurd. There are more than 5 million refugees in Turkey. Europe is currently paying Turkey to hold 5 million people in camps that they don't give people anything in. Rwanda was willing to house these people. Rwanda was willing to give these people what they needed. But that's unhumane. Giving money to Turkey to hold people in their country by force, that is more humane. What is the other thing they do? They set up refugee camps in the poorest countries of the world and then they keep people there and they barely give them any food. And the women there get sexually abused. The young kids are recruited to terrorist organizations. If these people were in a refugee camps, some part of Africa, you wouldn't hear these people complaining. But when Rwanda says that, you know what, we will take people, we're going to give them what they need, we're going to give them education, that is unhumane. What is Poland doing to their refugees right now? If you go to Poland as a refugee, you will be shot at the border. They arrest people, they put them in concentration camp, they torture refugees, and they force people to freeze to death during winters, trying to cross Poland. That is more humane. What do the Italians do to ships that try to cross from Africa or from other parts of the world to Europe? They shoot those ships down, they allow people to drown. That is not against human rights. But Rwanda taking in and housing refugees, now that is a problem. These people are ridiculous. You can't even take them seriously anymore. But anyways, I'm happy that Trevor Noah said it out loud. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment.